And as Cleveland officials desperately work to slow the spike in violence we're seeing overnight, a man was stabbed multiple times in public square in a parking garage there and in the Lee Miles neighborhood, a shooting at a BP gas station. Our Kaitor K caught up with the owner of that gas station today. Kaitor, it's just unfortunate news. What is that owner telling you tonight? So the owner, Mohammed Shetty, tells us that the shooting happened right at the front door of his BP gas station and blood from the gunshot victim was everywhere until he and his crew washed it away. It happened about 1030 last night with Cleveland police saying a 24 year old man is now suffering with gunshot wounds to the chest and shoulder. Shetty says his gas station has been hit by gunfire before and he keeps having to replace shattered front windows in the aftermath. He actually caught last night's shooting on his surveillance camera. You can hear eight bullets fired at the people standing in front of his store. No, that's not first time. Actually, that's maybe like fourth, fifth time still now. I changed this one like four months ago. I changed this one four months ago. I changed this one two times still now. Bullet everywhere. You see gas station? You see how it is? That's everywhere. It, it feels bad because someone can lose his wife, his kids, his son, whatever. All of us get families. Once again, Shetty will now have to replace another broken window at the front of his store. He's boarded it up for the time being. Now, police haven't shared any suspect information on this shooting or the stabbing that happened overnight at Public Square. But coming up at 6, the frustrated gas station owner tells us how he wants the city of Cleveland to help with the constant shootings in his neighborhood. Laura. Wow, what an interview that you got for us. All right, Kaitor, thank you.